video, I will be explaining to you 7 tips to grow your finances in 2024. If you're just watching my videos for the first time, consider liking this video and hitting the subscribe button to get updated on every new video released on this channel. Alright, let's get into it. Number one is to balance your objective. Many entrepreneurs have their focus only on their profit without looking at all the factors that bring about that profit. Hence, they are not witnessing any increase in their finances or in their income. Also, most employees are only concerned about their short-term target without considering the impact it has on their long-term financial pursuit. As an entrepreneur, you must consider other important business factors that bring about this profit, such as your customer's need, your employee's job satisfaction, your brand weakness and your brand strength, etc. All these factors contribute to helping you increase your revenue, which will bring about an increase in your finances. If you are an employee, I will advise that your short-term successes shouldn't be at the expense of long-term financial difficulty. For example, learn to balance the need for an emergency fund with that of investment fund. Or strike a balance between paying off your debt and contributing to your savings account. Every aspect of your financial life must be put into consideration in order for you to foster a sustained financial growth. Number two is income expansion. Depending on one income source cannot bring about growth in your finances. You will not have enough to settle your basic needs, save for emergencies, as well as save for investments. Warren Buffett once advised that one should never depend on a single source of income. Expanding our income sources brings about higher income, which increases our ability to save more money, pay off our debt faster, work towards our financial goals, as well as bring about our income stability. Number three is to automate your savings. To grow your finances, it is advisable that you receive your money through electronic means from your employer if you are an employee or from your customer if you happen to be an entrepreneur. This is because cash at hand are easily diverted to other non-relevant items which will lead to you saving little to nothing. When you automate the receipts of your money from your customers or from your employer, you will be able to automate your savings directly to your deposit-only account. With this in place, you will save more money, control your expenditure, get interest on your savings, keep up with inflation, settle emergencies as they occur, and very importantly, make more investments. Number four is to learn about money. Building financial knowledge helps you make informed investment decisions that will maximize your benefit for long-term financial sources. Reading financial books, attending finance seminars, listening to financial podcasts, news, talk shows, and watching videos on finance as you're doing right now. We assist you in saving more money, spending less money, making good investments, and better debt repayment decisions. All these will bring you closer to achieving your financial goals. Financial literacy is the key to making the most from your limited resources. Number five is to stick to budgeting. Budgeting creates short-term discipline and long-term financial stability, which brings about an exponential growth in your finances. Aligning your income with your budget helps you track and control your expenses. Cut down on reckless or impulse buying. Make informed decisions about your money. Work towards specific financial goals and redirect your finances towards savings and investments. Working with a budget fastens your financial growth both in the short term and in the long term. Number six is debt management. Debt is one of those factors that will prevent you from achieving your financial targets. To grow your finances, you need to manage your credit card debt and your personal loan debt efficiently. You can do this by prioritizing high interest rate debt if you are a type of person that is motivated by big wins. Or you start off with paying your lowest debt first if you are motivated by small wins. Whichever method you choose to go by, it is important that you expand your income sources. To enable you to settle your debt faster, become debt-free and redirect that debt interest money into your savings and investment account. Number seven is to partner with big names. As an entrepreneur, when you partner with companies who have already established brands and equally large customer base, this will obviously multiply your sales bring about an increase in customers and even potential customers and as well as increase your revenue both now and in the future. So partnering with big firms with established brands is a good strategic business move. 
As an employee who works for big companies with established brands, aside from the huge salary that comes with this employment, there are other opportunities for you outside there when you decide to leave these companies. Smaller companies are ready to pay you huge amounts of money so that you can share your experiences in these companies, in these big companies with them, and even put your experiences towards expanding their own small businesses. Working with companies with established brands can equally boost your experience, credentials, and expertise in that particular field if you choose to go on an independent route. So, a good way to grow your finances is to work with big companies with popular brands, good reputation, and long-standing existence. So, that is it for this video. We are aiming to reach 100 subscribers before the end of this month. If you've gotten value from this video, consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel to keep up with new video releases on my channel. Don't forget to share this video to friends and families who will find this video helpful. On your screen now is a recent video I made on 8 life and money habits you need to master before you clock 39. Go check out that video. I will see you there. Stay well.